Mondays with Mark Allen. Welcome back. Last weekend was one of those weekends where something happened that just makes you, your eyes pop out, your jaw drop, uh, not in disbelief, but in amazement. Gustav Eden did his first Ironman, Ironman Florida, first Ironman of his career. He won it. He's been winning a lot of races recently, but he won it in a time of seven hours, 42 minutes. His first Ironman ever. And get this, the swim was horrendous. It was rough. It was wind blowing against the current. Gustav Eden's swim split was 58 minutes. Normally it's going to be 47, 48 minutes. So if you take that time, deduct it off of what he did, his realistic time was probably somewhere around a 7.32. The best time ever for, for an Ironman distance race was set by Jan Frodeno earlier this year. Tri Battle Royale with Lionel Sanders. He went 7.28. Gustav Eden in his first Ironman ever was within three or four minutes of Jan Frodeno's best time ever. Is that amazing or what? That would be like somebody who was a, a, a just a straight runner, let's say a pure runner, and they've run 5Ks, they've run 10Ks, they've run half marathons, but they've never run a full marathon. And right out of the blocks, first marathon they run, they run a 202. That would be the equivalent of what Gustav Eden just did at Ironman Florida. His run split 234.51 or something like that. Completely amazing. People are saying he's the future of the sport. He's he, There's nothing going on in the future. He's the present right now. He is amazing. Incredible athlete. One of those performances that just raises eyebrows. Lionel Sanders wasn't even going to be there. And then he heard that um, Gustav was going to be debuting his Ironman, Ironman Florida. And Lionel says, I have to see this up front, up close, right next to him firsthand to get a feel for what Gustav can do in an Ironman. Uh, and they were together for a quite, quite a bit of the, of the race. Obviously, Gustav pulled away, uh, put about six minutes or so on him on the marathon toward the end of it. I think Lionel is just saying the dude is legit. That's the word he used in his interviews. Gustav Eden, legit, clearly 7.42, take away that bad swim time, probably closer to 7.32 or even better. The race itself was pretty interesting though, and it raises some questions that, or not some questions, but some realities that we're having to deal with. Weather is affecting races, weather is affecting outdoor events in ways that are, are seems to be more and more on a consistent basis. And it's not just this year or this past weekend, It's it's really been going on for a while. Think about, the history of Ironman California. The very first year, uh, it was gonna, it was in Lake Tahoe, granted up in the mountains, but it was in September, which is usually a nice month. They had snow the night before the race. They were able to hold the event, but still really, really cold. The following year, they had to cancel it because of smoke from fires. Fast forward to the next time they have Ironman California in Sacramento a couple weeks ago in a state that probably has the worst combination of drought and fires put together, the race is canceled because of torrential rains. How crazy is that? Ironman Florida last weekend, the swim was horrendous, horrendous. Winds and chop and making it difficult. One woman who uh, one of the age group women was commenting that her absolute slowest time ever in a swim in an Ironman was one hour, 38 minutes. One hour, 38. She swam 245. 245, obviously didn't make the cutoff. 245, over an hour slower. She said at one point she was swimming next to a buoy for over 15 minutes without making one inch of progress. Weather is affecting our sport. Weather is affecting all outdoor activity. It's not as predictable as maybe it was 20, 30 years ago. It's a reality that we're having to deal with. Climate change, probably. Is there anything we can do about it? I hope so. Is it the most important aspect of saving the planet's climate? No, racing is not the most important thing, but it's just a, um, it's a window into showing us how things are changing. I have faith in humanity though. I have faith in all of you. Keep racing. Have a great week, everybody. Mondays with Mark Allen. We'll see you next time.